Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to my kitchen. I'm going to make something really good today, so you're going to want to come on in here and get you a spot where you can see what's going on so you can make it at your house. Now, I don't know too many people that don't like pizza, kids especially, and calzones. And to me, a calzone is just pizza crust rolled up with all the goody inside, and then you dunk it in some marinara. So we're going to make calzones today. And I have some stuff here on the booze block that I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to make, um, I've got onions chopped and mushrooms chopped and some Italian sausage. Uh, I'm going to put Italian sausage, pepperoni, and some ground beef inside it. But I have to cook this. So I'm going to uh, get some oil heating on the stove. And then I'm going to add my onions and let them um, just cook till they're clear and tender. And I'll add my mushrooms and let them cook down. And then I'm going to add my Italian sausage and let it get done. Then we'll get it all put together. I've got some uh, blended, shredded, already pizza uh, mixture. And it's provolone, parmesan, and romana cheese. I'm going to use a little extra mozzarella. And I'm going to stick in a little bit of Havarti and a little bit of sliced provolone. I'm going to stick a few pieces in there just so to be squishy and cheesy because I like it like that. So let me get the camera, and oh, also, I did get an already made pizza crust, and they were marked down, these were $1.49, uh, and this is what I'm gonna use to wrap it in. So I'll show y'all what all's going on. I'm gonna bring the camera over here and just let you see my collection of goodness here, and then we'll get it to cooking over in the skillet. Okay, I have this, um, and I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but it's just a ready-made pizza crust. That was in the refrigerated section at Kroger. And I have my, my pizza blend cheese. I've chopped a sweet onion, some baby bella mushrooms, and Italian sausage. I just took it out of its casing. And then I have provolone and Havarti and some mozzarella. So we're going to get over to the stove and get uh, all of this cooking down where I can get it stuffed into my pizza crust, fold it over and make a hand pie out of it or a calzone and get it cooked. Okay, I've got my onions in my skillet. I had them to a medium, medium low, and let them cook until they're tender. And then I'm going to add the mushrooms, cook them until they're done, soft. Then I'll push it to the side and add the meat in the middle and get it done. It won't take long to get this made, so y'all just hang around. It's going to taste good, and it already smells amazing. I mean, cooked onions, they just smell inviting. Okay, my onions are just about ready. So I'm going to add in my mushrooms, good fresh baby bellas, and give that a quick stir and let it cook a little bit, and then we'll add our Italian sausage and get it cooked down. I'm probably going to have more than enough for right now, so we'll make some more later. But I'll get this cooked and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to add my Italian sausage. And I just took the, I just slid it down the back and um, peel that little casing off because we just want little pieces of sausage in there. So we'll get this browned off. This is a pound, so I know I'm going to have too much. Okay, I've got it all stirred up, mixed up, and letting my sausage finish cooking through. A clove of garlic or two. Okay, I've chopped two large cloves of garlic. I'll just stir this around and when it's real fragrant, it'll be done. And I'll get everything else mixed and I'll get the calzones in the oven. I tossed my pepperoni in here just to get it hot and to mix it up with the rest of the meat. I've got ground beef cooked, um, mushrooms, onions, garlic, Italian sausage, and the pepperoni. So this is going to be our meat stuffing in our uh, calzones. So let me get y'all back over to the butcher block and we'll get them all made up. Okay, I've got one of the pizza crusts cut in half. And I've put down some Havarti strips that I cut and some provolone. I've got some pizza blend. I'm going to put some meat on here. And then I'm going to go back and um, 
add a little bit of the mozzarella because he likes it. I'm making this one for the grandkid and my adopted grandson that lives behind us. Put them a little bit more pepperoni in here. My gin oven has reached temperature. I'm going to bake these at about 400 degrees. Now, here's the tricky part. I've got to pull this over and weld it back here. I'm just pinching it. I don't know if y'all can see or not. And rolling it up and pinching it where it'll be sealed. I'm not the most professional one in the world. Okay, I'm going to get this one on the pan to get it in the oven and I'll be back. Okay, I've got two ready to go into the oven, and I'll bring y'all back when they're done. I have a whole lot of goodie left over. I'll show y'all these. I bought this pepper and onion blend frozen at Kroger the other day because one time I was in Walmart, and there was a lady from the Little Caesars Pizza place in town, and she was buying all of the frozen peppers like that. And uh, I said, what are you going to do with all those? And she said, well... I work at Little Caesars, and she said, we've run out of our uh, peppers. And she said, if you buy the ones that are already frozen, they're already soft, and they cook quicker. So I learned something that day. But I'm going to make a just a, you know, rectangular pan pizza here. And this is just marinara sauce. It's not traditional pizza sauce. But I think it's going to work just fine. Just going to use up what I've made here. Now I like to put cheese and then some meat and then some more cheese and then some vegetables. I like a big fat pizza so here we go. Now I have a primo out there that would bake this like a wood fired oven. I also have a, a portable pizza cooker that you hook up to a propane bottle but the weather is just not making me want to go out there and work with that right now. Y'all will get a video of those later. Today we're just going to load this meat pizza up like this and enjoy. And I've got this on the pan that will fit in the June oven, so when the calzones get finished, I will pop this in. And those kids will have something to eat while they're, if they're hungry later for pizza, there'll be some waiting here. Okay, let me disperse this around. Oh, it's going to be yummy. Now I'm going to add a little bit more cheese on the top. Uh-oh, man overboard. And I want to put some mozzarella on it. Now, when the calzones get finished, I'll put this in the bake, and we'll be back. I didn't add my peppers and onions, so I'm going to put them just like on one end here, and just kind of stir them in. You know what, I'm not. They'll have to eat it or not, because I like them. So I'll just kind of stir some around in there, and... I didn't put any in their calzones, so they can love me for that. Isn't that pretty? I like all the colors. Okay, now, 
it's waiting its turn. Okay, here's the calzones, and that's cheese on the top that's a little bit browner. And uh, I'm just going to cut them in half and serve those kids, so it's not going to be plated pretty today. But y'all can see how they turned out. Okay, here's the pizza. I've already cut a big piece over here that they ate, but I wanted to show y'all what it looks like. Okay, y'all. They've enjoyed their calzones, and I've enjoyed some pizza, and then we have played sequence, and we've had a ball playing that game, and one of the grandsons wins a whole lot more than I do, but it's still fun to turn off those electronic devices and play, um, play board games. I hope y'all do that some. It sure does. It makes good memories. Y'all come back here in a day or two, and we're going to have another good recipe. And um, in the meantime, try some of these that I'm giving you and let me know that you're trying them. And please share my channel with your friends. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell down there so it'll ring and let you know that I put another video up. The good Lord bless y'all, and I'll see you in a day or two.